ever thought about the vocation of friend? We have friends. We have good friends, best friends even, BFF forever. Have you ever thought about what that vocation of friend means? What would you like in a good friend? You'd like someone who listens, who is honest with you, who's got your back, who isn't a gossip or going to throw everything you say up on TikTok. You want a friend you can have, friend, have fun with, but you also want a friend who is honest with you, a friend who has your best interest at heart. When we look at the vocation of friend, there are some great examples in the scriptures. In the Gospel of Mark, there's a great story of four friends, and they had a friend, and their friend was a paralytic. He couldn't walk. So they knew about Jesus. They picked up this man who was on a mat. They picked up the four corners, and they took him to where Jesus was teaching. The place was sold out, as you can imagine. Everything inside was full, no parking outside, nowhere to go to get into Jesus. And what I like about these friends is they didn't say, well, I guess we're out of luck. They went up on top, on the roof, tore the roof of the house open, took their friend, lowered him down in front of Jesus. And do you know what Jesus said? He said to these four, great is your faith. These four knew that Jesus has the words of eternal life and that Jesus can heal all of the things that we can't. Jesus did two miracles that day. He looked at the man who was paralyzed and he said, son, your sins are forgiven. Now remember, this guy is paralyzed. He could never have come to Jesus on his own, but his friends brought him. And then Jesus did another miracle. Pick up your mat and walk. And the paralyzed man picked up his mat in the midst of all of those people and walked out by the power of God's word. Those are good friends because they took their friend to Jesus. There's another story in the beginning of the Gospel of John where Jesus is gathering disciples. And there are two disciples there, Philip and Nathaniel. And Philip wants to take Nathaniel to see the one that the Old Testament is talking about, to see the one who is the Messiah. And when Nathaniel hears that Jesus is from Nazareth, he's skeptical. What good can come out of Nazareth? Nothing. And Philip was brilliant. He didn't try to fix it. He didn't try to convince him. He just said, come and see. What a great response. We all have friends that are struggling. We all have friends that need to know who Jesus is. And the easiest way to do that is bring them to Jesus. We don't have to have all the answers. We do the same thing that Philip said. Come and see. Come with me. Listen to the pastor preach about Jesus. And a lot of times that doesn't work. Our friends don't want to go to church. They're scared. They don't know what it is. But there's another way. If we can't bring them to Jesus, maybe we can bring Jesus to them. Maybe we can bring Jesus to them through the memory work that your pastor pounded in your head in confirmation. And you thought, why am I ever going to use this? And right there, you can tell your friends the Bible stories that you know, the scriptures that are already in your head, and you can encourage them through the word because God's word works. It works in their lives too. It brings faith and brings forgiveness of sins and it brings peace and hope. The vocation of friend is very important, and it's not hard. Bring them to Jesus, or bring Jesus to them. Thanks for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.